Okay, so in this segment, we're going to integrate some advanced conditionals right into the login welcome page that we're using for S2 member. And just to go over this quickly, the login welcome page is used by S2 member as the first page that a customer or a member or a free subscriber will be redirected to after they log into your site. Okay, now knowing that, a user or a member or a free subscriber could all hit this page we can see that this is a great place to use an advanced conditional so that we might be able to display different content on this page depending on the level that the user is logged in at. Okay, so I'm going to switch tabs here for a moment and go back to our example number three and copy this code snippet and we're going to use this and adapt it into the situation on this particular installation. I'm going to paste that right into the HTML tab. Okay, now I'm going to come up here and take a look at this. On this website that we're using for the demonstration here, uh, we're not really using level 4, 3, or 2. We're only utilizing levels 0 and 1. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take out these checks for 4, 3, and 2. And then I'm going to take a look here. I left this hanging because I now took out the first couple of checks. And I don't want to start a conditional off with a curly bracket or with the word else. A conditional should always start with if. Okay, now you can still use else if if you like, but a conditional always starts with if. Okay, now the other thing here is that I'm on the login welcome page. So since I'm on the login welcome page, and I know that S2 member will not allow uh, a public visitor to reach the login welcome page unless they are logged in, then I really don't need this is user logged in check here. Now I could leave it there, it would be fine, but since I don't really need it, I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Okay, so this is all I really need. If the current user can access level one, uh, then on this site that would make them a premium member. Okay, so this would be the content that I would display for a premium member. Uh, now here, I also don't need to check if they're at level zero, really, because on this installation I only have two levels so if they're not at level one I can just assume that they must be at level zero so I could actually take out that additional check and just leave this default else here so if they're at level one I show this otherwise I assume that they're at level zero and I display this okay now another thing you can do here is you could take out these demonstration lines and leave some room here where you can then come in and write some HTML code that would be displayed so it doesn't, it doesn't matter, you can leave white space here. Okay, that will be fine. I can take this one out as well. Okay, and then I would just write my HTML code directly into the HTML editor. Okay, now what if, what if I am a site owner who relies upon the visual editor? Okay, but I really need to use this conditional logic within my page. Okay, now Given the current state of the exec PHP plugin and that it is not compatible with the visual editor, if I was to do this first and switch over to the visual editor, I would lose these PHP tags. And I certainly don't want that to happen. So one workaround that you can use is to go ahead and start off when you create your login welcome page in the visual editor, okay? And go ahead and create your content and set it all up the way you want it. In, for both situations, okay? So you might have duplicate content here to start off with. So I might have this line and some other information, maybe some images, some links, and then I would do it all over again. So I'd actually have duplicate content here in the uh, login welcome page, or at least two sections of content that would be very similar. One section for premium members and another section here for free subscribers. Then once I get all of my uh, my whole login page designed the way I'd like, then I can come over to the HTML tab and go digging through some of the code that is generated by the visual editor and see if I can work out a way to insert those PHP conditional tags after the fact. Okay, now I still lose the ability to go back to the visual editor, but at least I was able to initially create the page using the visual editor that I rely on. Okay, now again, in the future, we're going to see if we can. Uh, improve upon the exact PHP plugin and hopefully that's going to make it easier for all of the site owners out there that are using S2 member to integrate this logic into a poster or page without losing the functionality of the visual editor.
And that will also be a, a great benefit to developers out there who have clients that rely on this. Okay, so you can take a look at primothemes.com. We're, we're working very hard to develop that, and hopefully we'll have it ready very soon. Okay, now there's one other thing I want to show you here. I'm going to switch tabs over here to the WordPress.org website. At WordPress.org, you can choose the Docs tab and then search the codex up here in the top right-hand corner. And if you search for conditional tags, it will pull up this article, this codex article, where it details all sorts of conditional tags that are built into WordPress. Okay, things like is home, is front page, is admin, is single. All of these are very, very useful, and these are additional uh, functions that could be integrated into your conditional statements with PHP tags. Uh, and these are all very well documented here. So just to point this out as a resource, if you have, uh, if you play around with these conditional tags for a little bit and you decide, oh, it would be great if I could test for which category it was or for which page it was, things like that, or if you want to implement it directly into your theme, then this is a great article to use as a resource. Okay? So that is S2 members advanced conditionals. Okay, using PHP code tags in either a post, a page, or even directly in a theme file, or also in a text widget using the exec PHP plugin. It also supports uh, uh, PHP code snippets with inside of a text widget. Okay, now in a future video, we're going to also cover how you can integrate advanced conditionals with PayPal modification buttons so that you can display the right type of modification button either on the login welcome page or on the membership options page. Okay, so you might want to take a look for that video. It's going to be coming soon at s2member.com.